first reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 to 6 i therefore the prisoner in the lord beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness with patience bearing with one another in love making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is above all and through all and in all the word of the lord My dear brothers and sisters and my dear children today's reading is taken from the gospel according to St Luke chapter 12 the message is know how to interpret the present times it's very necessary dear brothers and sisters really to understand the situation the situation in which you live it can be an experience of god's own grace or his own blessings or it can even be sometimes the temptation that can come to us by the power of the evil powers so let's get the spirit of the lord let's ask for the spirit of the lord to bless us and to guide us to really to read the present day Let's read the gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke. He also said to the crowds, "When you see a cloud rising in the west, you immediately say it's going to rain." And so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say there will be scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, You know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky but why do you not know how to interpret the present time and why do you not judge for yourselves what is right thus when you go with your accuser before a magistrate on the way make an effort to settle the case or you may be dragged before the judge and the judge hand you over to the officer and the officer throw you in prison i tell you you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny this is the gospel of the lord dear brothers and sisters and my dear children we really need to understand and to realize and at the same time to feel the goodness and the presence of god in us dear brothers and sisters and at the same time we also should make an effort to understand the workings of the evil evil is the one who can manipulate us evil is evil is the one who can lead us to lie evil is the one who can lead us and who can even really confuse our lives dear brothers and sisters it can be through various media it can be through media or it can be even through our leaders it can be through division and disorder that the evil will work in the society and at the same time in us maybe in our own family maybe in our own community therefore we need to feel and we need to know as jesus says to interpret the present times you know jesus comes out with this very clearly it's very easy 
for us to interpret the natural powers that come. We know when it's going to rain. We know when there is no rain. We really can interpret those. So it's where even Jesus tells us, or even that he tells all of us to get into our minds and see and to read the present times and see whether it's the spirit of God or whether it is the evil spirit that's going to work in us, dear brothers and sisters. You know, in our society, or by being even individuals, at certain moments we have to make moral choices. Abortion is very much in our society, dear brothers and sisters. Euthanasia, traditional marriages, and even contraceptive methods that we use. You know, we think that these things can relieve ourselves or these things can solve our problems in the society. There can be difficult moments where we really will have to make a moral choice in our lives. This is where we really need to make the real choice. This is where we really have to discern the will of God, dear brothers and sisters. These things can, we may think that these things will bring happiness into our lives, but these are just temporal happiness that can bring, but at the same time we can suffer more in our lives by getting ourselves to these errors, dear brothers and sisters. Basic truth, the basic truth of humanity is, humanity can be attacked and can be divided by the power of the evil, dear brothers and sisters. So see the errors, see the moral errors. Through them, let's try to understand how the God will lead us to take the real decision, dear brothers and sisters. It can be sometimes hard. It can be temporary. You know, it can be hard to take such decisions. But in the face of God, dear brothers and sisters, it is where we really will inherit an everlasting happiness, dear brothers and sisters. Let's, we, we should let the Holy Spirit come into our lives, dear brothers and sisters. If we allow the Holy Spirit to come into our minds, into our hearts, then we will read the present day times, the present times, and at the same time we will take the real correct decision that can bring to us through the word of God, dear brothers and sisters. May God bless you. Sri Vachanaya